Hi all, my name is uh, Mohammed Yemin Öztürk. I'm the PhD student at the University of Utah. In this lightning talk, I'm going to explain our uh, published work study using tensor contraction benchmark. Okay, first of all, let me quickly explain what the tensor contraction. If I, we can describe tensor contraction higher dimensional of the matrix multiplication. In other words, matrix multiplication is a subset of the tensor contraction. If you look at this scenario, we have A tensor, which is 4D, and we contract it. D tensor on the 4D, contraction indices is the D, we're going to gain the C tensor, which is 6D. So the name version of the tensor contraction is basically a seven nested loop, which is too expensive. No one does the tensor contraction like that. So then we have this uh, GPU kernel design. So in this GPU kernel design, let me briefly explain how, how we doing the tensor contraction. Let's say we have the A tensor and B tensor, those are the 4D. First, we just like flatten this 4D tensor as a like 2D matrix. Then we load the slice of the input tensor from global memory to shared memory. Uh, is this step one. After we does the step one, we uh, start the step two. We load the subset of the data flow from shared memory to registers. After we load the subset of the, the slice we already placed on the shared memory, we done in this step three. This slide is subject to larger product and partial result are stored in store resistance. And step four, basically we gain the sum, the final result, and we store this uh, to, we like that to global memory. This is the way how we implemented our tensor contraction for the GPUs. So in this study, we designed this kernel for the different framework and for different GPUs, mostly AMD GPUs and NVIDIA GPUs. So let me briefly explain uh, our code gener uh, generation strategy. We have our framework, which is called the Cogent. Uh, based on the ANSAM formulation, based on the tensor contraction formulation, it's going to produce the different kernel. So first, we generated like CUDA kernel. Uh, and then our framework also able to generate the heat kernel and COCOS kernel. So after we generated CUDA kernel, we also would like to test the HIPPIFI tool. We use HIPPIFI and change the CUDA kernel to hip kernel, which is so uh, straightforward. And we also use the Cyclomatic, which is basically tool which converts uh, co any CUDA code to Cycle code. So after that, we would like to do uh, evaluation of the analysis, evaluation of this all in terms of the performance on the different uh, vendor GPUs. So uh, let me explain the first comparison. Cycle versus is native. Uh, we compare the Cycle on the AMD GPU and AMD GPU, you can run the Cycle framework all the three different uh, three, three different GPU vendors, Intel, AMD, and G, uh, NVIDIA. So according to this uh, graph, we observe that Cycle has lower performance than the CUDA on AMD GPU. Uh, but when we run Cycle, uh, Cycle kernel on the AMD GPU, we have three categories. This is our <coughs> So let me also explain the focus kernel uh, in comparison to either an heap or the CUDA. So on Cocos, we discovered that launch bound feature is really important and affecting the occupancy uh, and help us to increase the performance. So the first observation we have for the Cocos, NVIDIA GPU performance is generally close but usually uh, lower than the CUDA. On AMD GPU, interestingly, sometimes we discover that SQL kernel is better than the heap kernel, some of the benchmark we use. Almost 30% of the benchmark, Cocos was better than the heap kernel. Mm -hmm. That's the interesting observation we gain uh, based on this experiment. So, uh, overall, we observe that SQL generate high, higher occupancy than the COCOS, but interestingly, because of the data movement, it has lower performance than COCOS. Uh, on AMD GPU, uh, the performance is directly depends on the benchmark you use. We cannot realize uh, either COCOS or the SQL is better. So then, right now, we have the code, genera code generators based on uh, which product framework the GPU kernel. We are adding the library by using the resource. So, and we have done some uh, detailed profiling analysis. We observed that 
uh, occupancy differences is caused by uh, register usage and so on. Thank you so much.